What's up everybody? In today's video, World War III just got started. Bombs just fell all across my property. Uh, all I could grab was this survival kit in a can. Um, since I'm kind of sort of a YouTuber, you know, YouTube truck's got a, a few things that could come in handy, but boom truck just got freaking nuked man all we have left is this can we survive let's find out okay so what we were able to not get blown up was a survival kit in a can okay it's got 33 items so that's good it's got all this stuff but who's gonna read that when we can open it let's open it and we gotta be really quiet so that Chinese or whoever the bad people are that nuke this, I don't nuke my survival kit. Let's see what's in this thing. Got a tampon? No, that is not a tampon. Okay, so this is actually a piece of duct tape. Look at this. About a foot long piece of duct tape we got here. That's pretty cool. Never seen that coming. Bam. And here we've got... Is this a mess bag? No, just a little Ziploc bag. A clip lock bag. It doesn't have a zipper. Let me set y'all back up for this. Uh... So you got a baggie, I'm guessing you put all this in once you open it. So that's what we're gonna do. I doubt I'll ever get it packed back the way they have it. All right. Next thing I got is a pack of matches. Yep, full pack. That's all right, so we got tape and matches, so we definitely have a fire, unless it's pouring down rain. So, that, that's doing good still. Let's freaking survive World War Three, baby. Here we go, we got a little piece of nylon rope. Look at that. Probably, I don't wanna unwrap it because I'm never gonna get it right back. Yeah, I'm unwrapping it. It's about, it's about a yard, about three foot, about three foot nylon. We're just gonna lay that there. All right, what else do we have? Oh, wax dipped waterproof match. We have one wax dipped waterproof match. That's cool. Go ahead and drop him in the bag. Uh, got some. Oh my God. We've got some little twine, I'm guessing. Oh, and a little bread tie. That'll come in handy for something. We'll use it, we'll use it. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this little rope though. In the bag. I guess the little rope is for sewing yourself up if you get hit by a nuke in World War III. Because this is one heck of a dang needle. I mean, this thing's like freaking two inches long. And, yeah, it looks painful. It's not even very sharp. Yeah, I'm not putting that in the bag. I'll stab my finger with it. I'm going to lay it over here. Next, we've got some little golden wire. It'd be good for building a shelter, you know. Wrapping them logs up tight. We've got two safety pins, a big one and a little one. Not sure what I'd do with that, but still nice to have. We got, let's see. We got a candle right here. Give us a little bit of light at night time. Maybe for reading in our package or something 
That's cool. We got a pencil that comes pretty sharp in, baby. Let's go. Got a rape whistle. Always needing a good rape whistle. It does not work. You're getting raped. What is this? I think this is little pieces of fire starter, but I'm not sure. I don't know about that. Oh, we got another waterproof mat. Oh, there's that. So we actually got two more waterproof matches right here. So that means we have three waterproof matches. Oh, shoot, yeah. We got a little compass. That doesn't work. Or does it? That doesn't work. Glad we got that. Well, we can know which direction them nukes are coming from. Here we go. Here's some little, little string. And there's some also. These little hooks right here. I'm buttoning this little string for these little hooks. That's cool. I like that. So we got food, we got a fire, we got potentially stuff to build a pretty nice shelter. We got a razor blade here. I'm gonna cut my dang finger off. Yeah, we're not gonna open it because I'll cut my finger off, but we have a razor blade for cleaning them fish. Right here we have a blank piece of paper for for the pencil. Let's go. Right here we have a hell if I know. A can opener, a knife edge, a screwdriver, a ruler, a bottle opener, a four position wrench. Yeah, blow, yeah. That's what we got. Let's just look at it. We got a saw. There's the knife. Holy crap, that thing's pretty sharp. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to drop that back in. Oh, we got two more breath. Another stinking waterproof match. Let's go, baby. Two bread ties. We got two nails for our shelter. Oh, we're building log cabins at this point. Come on now. And here we've got a outdoor survival tips guide. Check that out. What is up with this camera today? That's pretty cool. And I guess this right here is just a little signaling mirror. I don't know who we're going to signal in World War Burrito. Well, guys, I think we survived. I think we just grabbed that. Truck got nuked. Everything was destroyed. We just ran over here to these trees. We still got this right here, though. That's what we always strapped. And we got in this big old hole over here. We got in this big old hole over here that's full of water. And we let the blasting stop. And we come out. And we're not affected by radiation because we're real country outdoor subscribers. And we had that. And now we're surviving, baby. Stinking go. If you want to see me actually go out in the woods and try to survive with just these items right here. I did a flyover. Then go ahead and subscribe, drop a comment, tell me you want me to do that, and I'll do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.